a gamma ray burst, possibly the brightest of all time, sweeps over the Earth. The explosion came just as astronomers were gathering at a symposium on gamma ray astrophysics. Artist's Interpretation of the Calcium-Rich Supernova, 2019 EHK, shown in orange, is the calcium-rich material created in the explosion. That shall take place. Purple coloring represents gas shed it by the star right before the explosion, which then produced bright X-ray emission when the material collided with the supernova shock wave. Jesus said that there would be signs in the heavens of his return. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. Earth just got zapped. On Sunday, a gamma ray burst, the most powerful class of explosions in the universe, caused a wave of gamma rays and x-rays to sweep over the earth. It was also possibly the brightest explosion of its nature ever recorded the brightest explosion of its nature ever recorded in a breathless press release NASA emphasized that their detectors all over the planet picked up on this gamma rays are the most energetic photons in the electromagnetic spectrum far more powerful than x-rays which can cause cancer if one is exposed to them at high levels interesting and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. The Lord shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Outer space is full of gamma rays, though few make it all the way to the earth's surface, as the atmosphere absorbs the vast majority before they can ever make it down to hurt us. Notice this, this is God's mercy. However, a sufficiently large gamma ray burst could theoretically strip the planet of its atmosphere and cause a mass extinction event. Let's go ahead and reread that scripture. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Is it possible that the Lord will either temporarily or completely destroy the atmosphere with the brightness of his coming to where man will be exposed to the powerful display of light and will thereby be consumed by the brightness of his coming? A sufficiently large gamma ray burst could theoretically strip the planet of its atmosphere and cause mass extinction event. A mass extinction event. Uh, will disappear and people will wonder where they're at and life will continue as it will and then the antichrist will come on the scene and the seven-year trip i don't know where they're getting this from i well actually i do know the left behind series the left behind series where men made up a story that is contrary to the word of god you read it in thessalonians let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped. But what we see in the scriptures is that the saints will go up to meet the Lord in the air at the Lord's return. And then the wicked shall be destroyed at the brightness of his coming. So the brothers and sisters will not, and the children of God will not be here subject to the brightness of his coming, to the destruction, the flame of fire that shall come upon the wicked. They will not be, be recipients of that. They'll be with the Lord in the air. The wicked will be consumed by the spirit of his mouth, and they are the ones who shall be destroyed by the brightness of his coming. Can this destruction be by an intense gamma ray burst? Jesus Christ is showing us of what is to come. His return is near. GRBs were first discovered by scientists accidentally in the 1960s 
And even then, they realize that these bursts generate as much energy as our sun. As our sun. This burst is much closer than typical GRBs, which is exciting because it allows us to detect many details that otherwise would be too faint to see. Much closer. Much closer. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Brothers and sisters and friends, we are getting much closer to the return of the Son of Man, Jesus Christ. Every eye shall see him. He cometh with clouds. And who are the clouds? Who will judge angels? Who are the clouds? Those who will reign with the Lord Jesus Christ, the saints. The children of God that will be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall they ever be with the Lord. Jesus Christ will return. He will catch up his saints at the Harpazo, the second coming, the rapture. And they will reign with the Lord, and they will dominate with the Lord, if you will. And all those which pierced him, all those which persecuted him, all those who slandered him, and mocked him, and scoffed him, and have done ill things to his preachers, and his teachers, and his prophets, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail. Why are they going to wail? Why aren't, there, why aren't they going to stand and rejoice uh, for the coming of the Lord? Why aren't they going to be there in anticipation, waiting the coming of the Lord and be excited to see the return? Well, because they are the ones who took part in piercing him, and they are the ones who took part in denying him and scoffing him and mocking him and his people. Now retribution day has come, and they shall not rejoice, but they shall, as the scripture says, they shall wail because of him. They know, they know subconsciously and inwardly that the return of the Lord is near. What are they saying now? Oh, we have to uh, uh, modify our actions on this planet to save the planet because it's getting warmer because of our doings. You know what they call that. Because they are wanting you to get away from the truth of the matter, and that's the brightness of his coming is much closer. As we read in the article, this gamma ray burst was picked up because it's much closer, much closer than other gamma ray bursts. Jesus Christ is showing us through science, if that's what they want, if they want a scientific uh, understanding, well, there it is. Read the scriptures, read the articles, and you have a parallel. Give me a five-day forecast, seven-day forecast, ten-day forecast. I want to know about my travels. I'm going to experience rain, sleet, or snow, partly cloudy, partly sunny, overcast temperature. What am I going to experience, weatherman? But they cannot discern the signs of the times. But those of us who are in the know, who are anticipating the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, yeah, we will take a look at articles like this and it will spark our attention and we will see that these are signs of what is to come. The most powerful, if they want to call it, gamma ray burst ever recorded in the history of mankind that will penetrate the earth and bypass the atmosphere and destroy everything on the face of the earth, then yeah, they can look at it like that. But I see it in the word of God a little differently. For behold, the Lord will come come with fire fire, fire, and with with his his chariots chariots like a whirlwind whirlwind, to render his his anger anger with fury fury, and his his rebuke rebuke with flames flames of of fire. fire.